Hey guys, today we're going to show you a quick and easy way to enable tethering on your AT&T Galaxy S4. It's a really simple method and I don't think you'll have any problems with getting it working on your phone. In the past it's been a very difficult challenge to be able to bypass all the AT&T security features. But um, today I'll show you how to easily enable this feature on your phone so you'll be able to connect to any other device using Wi-Fi when you're out. Pick up your phone and open your browser and go to talroot.com. We're going to root your phone and I know that concerns some people but it's actually an extremely simple process. Um, it's a one-click root uh, app so it's very easy. Um, you'll want to click on the large lambda sign right in the center of the page to download the application. Um, you most likely will get a pop-up on your screen that says uh, install blocked. Um, click the settings button and once you click the settings button it should bring up a page <clears throat> that you'll simply need to scroll down and select unknown sources and when you select unknown sources that's going to bring up another page and you'll just want to click allow initial installation only and select OK and next you will bring up the towel root page go ahead and install that once you get that installed um, open the application and then select make it rain it should only take a few seconds and once that's completed um, you'll probably want to go ahead and reboot open up google play store and um, type in wi-fi tether router and you'll want to install that. Um, it is by Fabio Grazio. Once you have that installed, go ahead and open the application. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you get the Wi-Fi Tether Router application installed is open the app, select Configure Wi-Fi Router, ignore anything that pops up there, um, select Interface, Make sure that WLAN 0 is selected. Click your back arrow. Okay, next you want to go to Method. Select 3, Host APD. Okay, next you want to go to Drivers. Make sure NL80211 is selected. Then the next thing you want to do is um, name your network, enter your password, and hit your back arrow. And then you'll want to enable Wi-Fi router. It does take a few seconds, but it will work. Okay, it does, as you can see, track the amount of data usage, if you want to track that. Um, now you can go about using your phone as you would like. And let's see if it's working. Select Tim Sue. As you can see, it's working fine. Wi-Fi tethering on your AT&T Galaxy S4. Um, if you found this helpful, uh, please give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below. And be sure and subscribe.